Okay, so I've been out here since 5.30 this morning. It's the right door. I just got the top half of it all ground down. I got a small little dent right there, door ding to fix. And then a cup, and then it's almost, it looks like it's almost creased right here, but I'm not feeling anything. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna fill that with some Bondo and sand it out and see what happens. I have a feeling that there's gonna be something left in this area, so. Yeah, I can feel it right there, so I'm going to go ahead and mark that with a pencil so I know to go back there with Bondo and get all that area done. And then as we move back here, I got this bottom half of this door done now. I do a little bit of repair right here, filling it, which wasn't that big of a deal. And it's nice and smooth now. So this one's done for the most part, except for around here. And once I remove the lock and the handle, I'll grind all this down and use the etching primer on it. And then once I get the air extractors done, it's time to do the actual shell itself. And that'll take me about three days to do. Because I got a little bit of repair to do. Some faggot threw his keys at my car. And uh, just a few little things, a little, actually, yeah, it's a little, it's something that was in the trunk and it, and when I went around a corner, it smacked it out. So I just got to use my body hammer and hammer it back in and fill it. Not a big deal. And then up on here, no, it's on the other side, actually. Right where this paint's off, it's got a little dip in it. So I got to go, I'm going to actually try and pull it out instead of filling all that because I don't want Bondo in the roof if I don't have to. Or if I have to, I'll use lead because this is all structural. And Bondo cracks where it's structural. So I figured I'd use lead instead. Oh, that actually rhymes. So yeah, getting her done.